everyone. I just wanted to do Natalie's six month update. She was six months on June 23rd and she's being extra curious today and kind of noisy and playing so I thought I'd hold her here just so I can keep an eye on her. Um, I have a note or I have a list right here too. So, um, so basically for clothing she is in three to six months on some things and six months on other things. Um, right now she has a lot of really cute six month size little summer outfits. So I have her in little, a little summer outfit here, little shorts. Um, and then diapers, um, her, for disposable she is in sometimes size ones and sometimes, sometimes size twos. So it really just depends. Um, for, for cloth diapers, um, and here's just an example, I have one row of snaps for the rise exposed and then I'm since she's still pretty small I'm able to to do it all the way to the um to not have any rows exposed here so um and for sleeping between four and a half to just shy of six months she was sleeping through the night it was amazing um and at her six month growth spurt she decided that she wanted to wake up um around usually one to two times a night. So like last night she woke up at 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. To, to nurse. Um, I, I was really spoiled. I, I, loved, I loved her sleeping through the night obviously and, and I'm not going to deny her um, eating or feeding. So I, I do feed her at night whenever you know if she wakes up and acts like she's hungry. Um, and then she usually wakes up between 6.30 and 7. For a while there, she was waking up around 6 a.m. every morning, no matter if I put her to bed at 7 o'clock or if she didn't fall asleep till 9.30. She was still waking up at 6. And that was pretty, that's pretty rough. I, I try to be in bed by 10.30, so it doesn't give me a lot of time for myself. Um, usually what I'll do is I will, once she's in bed, I'll take a bath, I'll clean the house, I'll do the floors, um, since she is crawling everywhere, I try to make sure everything is clean for her, but um, since she's waking up, like today, she woke up a little after 7 and it was amazing. Um, breastfeeding is still going fine. <laughs> she, we nurse about every two hours during the day, and she nurses um, before she sleeps, obviously, or before she goes to bed at night. And then, like I said, lately she's been getting up between at 2 and sometimes at 4 o'clock to nurse again. Um, but yeah, that's going fine. Um, we did have some issues, and we still kind of do. She has, she's had three ear infections in the last two months. So we obviously have an issue with her ears. Um, I've seen the pediatrician. She's been on antibiotics. They take care of it for a while, and then it comes back again. So we do have an appointment with an ear, nose, and throat specialist um, on July 15th. I'm hoping that she doesn't have to have like tubes in her ears. I'm hoping we can kind of delay that. And just keep an eye on it but yes yeah, she has had three ear infections so it really it's really hard for her to nurse to suck when she has ear when she has ear pain so I have that has been kind of a struggle um, I have had to pump and I hate pumping um, but she doesn't want to nurse like she'll try to she wants to nurse she's starving and then I try to you know to bring her up to me to nurse and she just pops on and off on and off and just screams and I just feel so awful so yeah, it's been kind of a struggle with breastfeeding. Um, so first, and also I do want to note that she has no teeth. She has two tiny little bumps on her bottom teeth, tiny, tiny little bumps showing, little nubs, but no, no visible teeth. The doctor did say at her six month checkup that her gums were very hard, uh, but nothing coming through just yet. She is drooling like crazy and yeah, so they're coming it's inevitable, but no teeth yet. Um, so for solids, we have started some solids. Um, her first food was sweet potatoes, and she um, she hated it. She, well, she acted like she hated it, and then she kind of liked it. And I think it might be a texture thing. So we tried sweet potatoes, uh, and then we tried green beans the next week. Hates those, absolutely hates them. Um, we tried squash, doesn't like squash, and we tried bananas, and she absolutely loves bananas. I made my own baby food with, I had a couple of extra bananas here and I pureed them and froze them and then I gave her some and she absolutely loves them. Um, for as for milestones, um, she sits up if I place her there herself, like if I just set her here, she will sit. Um, but she does not, if she's crawling on the floor, she does not um, 
sit by herself yet. She can't work herself up to sit. Um, she scoots everywhere. That's the way she gets around is scooting. She'll go on her belly and then just kind of pull herself with her arms, pull herself. Um, so she's doing that everywhere. Um, she does get on her hands and knees. Um, and she'll get on her hands and knees and she'll sway back and forth. She doesn't quite know to crawl yet, but it's very, very close. Um, she knows her name. Uh, if I say Natalie, Natalie, she'll usually look right at me. Uh, that's really handy when we try to take pictures. And she does know the word no. Um, I try not to use that often because I want it to actually have some meaning. I don't want to tell her no for everything because she needs to explore and she needs to get on the floor and check things out. But there are certain things that she, you know, I do need to say no for and she does know that. Um, like, like I said, she's very mobile. She wants to move everywhere, go everywhere, see everything. Um, and she follow, follows me everywhere. Um, so I have to be really careful about that. Um, at her six month appointment, she, her weight was 13 pounds, seven ounces. Um, she's only about up a pound from when, her four month checkup. So the doctor did note that she's in the 10th percentile for weight. She did say that since, she's been, <laughs> yeah, since she has been sick, um, she has not been eating as well. So we're just keeping an eye on that. Um, I'm offering and offering and offering my, you know, my breasts as much as possible to her. And then we're also doing some solids. So hopefully I have an appointment on July 1st to check her weight. So we're going to check that. Um, she is around 25 inches in length. She's pretty small. My husband and I are both small people. I'm barely 5'3 and he's barely 5'6. So we're not expecting her to be a long, long, long baby. She's not going to be a tall girl. Um, we're both petite people. So um, I wasn't really too concerned about that, especially since when I looked at my baby book, I was the exact same weight and height at six months. Um, and her head size is 16 and a half around. So, but yeah, um, other than that, um, she's been doing really good. Just the, the ear infection issues, the teething issues, normal stuff for six month olds. But she's a happy baby, as long as she's on the floor and crawling around. I do want to show a couple of her um, favorite toys right now that she's really enjoying. Um, the first thing are blocks. She loves her blocks so much. I just got some wooden blocks. I think I got them at Walmart. And she loves to stack, or I, I stack them. She loves to knock them over. Um, obviously, she loves to chew on them right now. Um, so that's her favorite, one of her favorite things. And then also her sorter stacker. She loves this. We play with this quite a bit. Um, just, you know, putting, I put them in there or I, I'll, you know, have her half put them in and we dump them out and do it again and again and again. And she loves that. She also loves to chew on those as well. Um, and then also her, her ring stacker, all the other rings are scattered around the house because she was chewing on them earlier. But, you know, I, I think I had this as a kid and she loves it too. And then the final thing is just the ball. She loves these. We love to play roll the ball back and forth. It, j it, it jingles or rattles and it's easy for her to grip. Um, yeah, so, but anyway, yeah, that's about it. Um, so we're doing pretty good at six months and I will do another update after seven months. Bye Natalie, say goodbye, bye. <laughs> Talk to you guys later.